Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Exercise with Exos. Shazzy here, and I have a fun workout for us today. So if you've been taking any classes this week or you're watching the recording, you watch a lot of recordings from this week of November 7th through 10th, um, we're just going out leaves. So we got a fall themed workout today. It is different than all the other workouts we've done this week. We're going to do three rounds, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest slash transition time. I'm going to do a real quick demo round and then we're going to warm up and we're going to get right into it. So starting off L, we're going to do lots of lunges. I just hit my head on my dangly things. Um, we're going to do around the world lunges. We are going to alternate here. So for around the world lunges, what that looks like, we're going to step forward into our forward lunge, come up. We're going to step to the side into a lateral lunge and then back into a reverse lunge and then follow that on the other side. So we have forward, side, and back. So we're going to alternate between our legs. That's going to be our L. And then for our E, we're going to do glute bridges with a knee extension. So we're going to hold the glute bridge at the top. So we're going to come up. Um, pushing our hips towards the ceiling, one knee at a time, we're going to kick out, and then the other side. Or you can just kind of alternate this way. So it's similar to a march, but we're extending the out, we're squeezing our quad there. So that's our E. And then for the A, we're going to do alternating reverse lunges. So starting at the top of our space, we're going to step back, we're going to hold for two seconds, and then we're going to push the ground away, come back up. So stepping back, hold one, two push and stand up. So that's going to be our A. And then for our V, we are actually going to do um, some skips um, here. So the V is vertical, which I know we only always jump up anyways. And so for this one, you can either do a skip or march, whatever feels better. So for the skips, we're going to double tap here at the bottom, driving our knees up, or we can march. Whichever one feels better for you today, that's what I would like you to do. And then for our second E, we have plank knee to opposite elbow. So switching it up from yesterday, hands and toes, we're coming across our body, touching the knee to our opposite side elbow, exhaling as we come up. And then to finish off, we're gonna do some Supermans here. It's gonna be all the way on the ground. Yeah, you can see. We're all the way on the ground. We're going to squeeze our glutes. We're going to lift our chest and our legs off the ground and back down. So we're going to come up. We're going to hold for anywhere from two to three seconds and back down. So that's going to work on our low back strength as well as our glute strength. So that's going to be our whole circuit for today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm up. I think we all know what's coming. We're going to do the world's greatest stretch. So we're going to come to the top of our space. Interlace our fingers, grabbing onto one of our knees. And we're gonna exhale, step back, reverse lunge. Back leg stays nice and straight. Hands coming down to the inside of our front foot. Feeling that open up our hips here. We're gonna go ahead and exhale, opening up towards our front leg, looking at our hand. My whole spine just cracked, that felt amazing. Breathe it into our belly. We're going to go ahead, exhale, plant our hand outside of our front foot, bring our back foot a little bit closer, push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. Breathe into our tight areas here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to interlace our fingers, grab onto our opposite knee, pull our knee towards our chest. And we're gonna exhale, step back, reverse lunge. Hands are gonna come down inside of our front foot. We're keeping our back leg nice and straight here. And we're gonna exhale, opening up towards the ceiling. Thumb faces behind us. We're looking past our hand here. And we're gonna go ahead, exhale, plant our hand outside of our back foot, bring our back foot a little bit closer and Sorry, hand outside of our front foot, bring her back foot closer. Pushing up into our hamstring stretch here. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. 
All right, last part of our warm up here, we're gonna go on the ground on our hands and knees. We're gonna do some quadruped rocks with our adductor stretch here. So making our way onto our hands and our knees. We're gonna take one foot. We're gonna stick it straight out to the side like a kickstand. We're gonna keep that pinky toe on the ground here. And we're gonna go ahead and inhale, rock back. Exhale, come forward. We're gonna warm up our hips here with this one, rocking back. And exhaling forward. And last one, coming back. And exhaling forward. And go ahead and bring our knee back up underneath our hip. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So taking our other leg, we're gonna do three on this side. So rocking back, exhaling forward, inhaling, rocking back, exhale forward, and last one, rocking back and forward. Go ahead and bring our knee back up underneath our hip and we are ready to rock and roll. So go ahead and get on to your feet. Starting off with our L, we have around the world lunges. So we're going forward, side, back, each side. I got my timer going. We're gonna get the timer going here. 45 seconds of work, three, two, one, and go. So we're starting in the middle of our space here. We're gonna start coming forward lunge, push the ground away up and then to the side, push those hips back, and then to our reverse lunge. And then we'll switch legs. So then coming forward with the other leg, to the side, and back. So the goal here, I think I might have enough room to do it this way. We wanna keep our feet like, so I'm coming forward with my right foot. It's not gonna to fully touch the ground. I'm gonna go straight into my reverse lunge and straight into my reverse lunge or my side and then reverse. So goal is to go straight into each one, three, two, one. All right, first movement done. We're getting on our backs. We have glute bridge with a knee extension for our first E. So we're on the ground, on our backs, feet are hip width apart. Three, two, one. So we're gonna drive our heels through, push our hips up, extend one leg out, back down, and then the other side and down. So making sure our butts to our belly button, our core is engaged, so breathe through our straw as we push up and extend out, squeezing our quad and back down. We really do wanna try to make sure our core is engaged for our anti-rotation so our hips are not swinging back and forth. Great job. Sometimes these multi-movements can be a little bit difficult, but we got our timing down. Great job. Are my feet even? Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we're standing back up. We have more lunges. We're going to do an alternating reverse lunge, pausing for two seconds at the bottom. Three, two, one. One, so stepping back, knee coming forward, chest over the arch of our front foot, pause for two seconds, drive through our front heel. So coming back, one, two, exhaling as we stand up. Exhaling helps us exert our energy, use our muscles, really engage where we want to engage here. Really focusing on driving through our front heel, our chest is forward. So we're getting our nice angles between our shin and our torso, keeping our chest over our front foot so we get our glute engagement here. Great job, three, two, one. All right, next up, we're gonna do our vertical skits or marches, whatever feels better for you today because sometimes jumping's just not happening. Three, two, one. One, so for our skip, we're double tapping. If we're marching, we're just marching it out, making sure we have opposite arm, opposite leg, our chest is up. We're not hunched over here. So pulling, squeezing our orange between our shoulder blades and coming um, opposite arm, opposite leg, using our core to help our legs out. Our core should be engaged when we're driving our knees up. 
This movement is really good to help us practice our running mechanics. I know I'm not a runner, but y'all might be runners. So this is actually a great way to work on that. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have plank knee to opposite elbow. So we're coming across, exhaling, bringing our knee up with our core. Three, two, one. I definitely have a love-hate relationship with these because I do really feel them in my core. My shoulders always give out before my core does. Again, it helps if we exhale, we're ringing everything together as we drive the knee up. So it's all one motion, trying to get our knee as close to our elbow as we can. And similar to yesterday too, making sure that we're going nice and slow so we feel the movement. My spine just cracked again. Three, two, one. Can you tell I haven't done pretzel yet today because my back keeps cracking? <laughs> all right, next up we have Superman's laying all the way on the ground. We're lifting our arms and our legs. Three, two, one. So we're coming up, holding for two to three seconds and back down. Make sure we squeeze our glutes, lifting up. Let's try this way. If we act like we're driving our heels towards the ceiling. That's gonna help us engage our glutes the way we want to. This is gonna help us strengthen again our glutes, our upper back a little bit, but we're working on our low back extensors as well, which sometimes if we have low back tension, strengthening all of that area will really help us with that tension. Great job, three, two, one. All right. Round one is done. We got two more to go. And then we'll cool down. So we have around the world lunges first. Three, two, one. Sorry, I was a little early on that. Coming forward, making sure our forward lunge, we still have our knee coming over our second toe. Our chest is still over the arch of our front foot. So if I'm this direction, my forward lunge should look exactly the same as the reverse lunge. So it's the same form. We just are gonna feel it a little bit differently because on a forward lunge, sometimes we feel it more in our quads versus the reverse, we'll feel more in our glutes. So that's really the main difference. Um, I like to do reverse lunges more because I know um, with forward lunges, a lot of people, especially if you already have knee pain, it can kind of aggravate that. Three two, one. All right, back on the ground here, glute bridges with our knee extension here. Three, two, one. So again, tuck our pelvis, breathe through the straw, driving our hips up, extending our leg out. So glute bridges, as we know, very good to help our pillar, mainly our hips and our torso. So strengthening our glutes, strengthening our core can help us strengthen our low back. But it's really easy to feel this movement in our low back if our pelvis is tilted the wrong direction. So that's why I say we're here. We bring our butt to our belly button so our back is more flat on the ground, keeping that locked in with our core. So that's kind of how that's all related here. Three, two, one. All right. Awesome job, y'all. We're seeing it back up. We have alternating reverse lunges with a two second pause at the bottom. Makes it more fun. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back. One, two. Drive through our front heel. We want to feel this movement in our glutes of the leg that's in front. So I always, I say this generally, right? We want to move with purpose, with intent. If we're not feeling in our glutes, we got to figure out what we're doing. Also making sure we're moving nice and slow with that intention. 
So when we come back up, I always move a little bit slower on my right side and I lift my back foot off the ground to make sure I'm not pushing up because my right glute is not as quick to activate as my left one is. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have marches and or skips. Vertical marches, that's why it fits in with the V. Sometimes you got to get creative, make it work. Three, two, one. So again, opposite arm, opposite leg coming up for the march and for the skip. It's just a double tap of the same motion. Turn that on or it's not going to turn on for me. There we go. It's been very cold in here. I turned all the fans off. And now that I'm moving, I'm getting a little toasty in here today. Fall has left. Just kidding. Speaking of fall, I usually wait until later on, but if you have any other suggestions, requests, or themes, let me know. You all know where to find me. Three, two, one. All right. Plank, knee to opposite elbow. Then we got Supermans, and we're going to go one more time through. So we're uh, getting ready. Hands and toes. Three, two, one. So screw on our hands into the ground. That activates our upper back to keep everything nice and flat. Exhale. Come across. Get as close as we can. Touching our knee to our elbow. If you move slower, you might be able to get there. Really be intentional here. One side. Not work as well. There we go. It's very tiring to actually touch our knees there. All right. We're exhaling, we're breathing, we're pushing through. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have Superman, so we can just get right on our stomachs here. I was about to stand up. What about extra work for me? All right, we're getting ready. Three, two, one. All right, so we're squeezing our glutes. Like I said last time, if you drive your heels towards the ceiling, it's going to help us with our glutes. Great job. It helps if we exhale, as always, as we exert ourselves. So through the concentric movement of every movement, that's when we want to exhale. With each movement, it's going to be at different parts. Sometimes it's when you come up. Sometimes it's when you go down. It all just depends on the movement. I'm trying to be better about reminding all when we want to breathe because it does help with our movements. Three, two, one. All right, y'all. We're doing awesome. We're rocking and rolling. We got our last round coming up. And then we're going to cool down. We'll be done for the day. Three, two, one. Around the world lunges. It's coming forward to the side and back. This is a great way to do lots of a variety of angles and planes of motion which help us in terms of living our life. Because life is not just lived forward and backwards. We do lots of other things in real life and real time. So we wanna practice that in here, build that strength in here to help make life easier and prevent injuries outside of these sessions. My biggest goal for everyone, trying to make y'all's life easier. Three, two, one. Done with those for today. We're back on the ground. We have glute bridges with our knee extension. Getting ready. Three, two, one. So butt to belly button, breathe through our straw. Push our hips up. Oh, we're not doing marches. Let's <laughs> not start doing glute bridge marches. We're extending our knees out. Not our knees. We're extending from our knee. Wow. My brain just really just stopped working all at once. These ones. 
help us with our quad um, strength here, as well as the glutes from the glute bridges. Just gonna help us with our core strength and low back. Three, two, one. All right, done with those for today. We have our alternating reverse lunges with a two second pause at the bottom. Three, two, one. So we're coming back. One, two, push it back up. Again, what is the intent of the movement? You know, asking yourself that every time we do anything, what is our intent? What are we trying to do? And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all what each movement does, why I'm putting it in here, what it's going to help us with. So really help with that intention, making sure we're getting the most out of everything, right? Because again, my goal is for your life and all of your movements throughout life to be easier because we've trained in here. So that's why not just me, but at Exos, we train movement patterns, not muscle groups. Three, two, one. All right. Done with those. We got three more movements. So we have our skips or marches, then plank and Superman. We're going to stay on the ground for our cool down. Three, two, one. And I don't know about y'all. I definitely could use some rotation through some pretzel in my life this afternoon. Now we did rotation in our warm up, which we do the world's greatest stretch almost every class. It's called the world's greatest stretch for a reason, right? We get our rotation, we open up our hips, we get our hamstrings in there. And that's really the most, you know, we don't have that much time in these classes. And I don't want to waste time doing like five stretches when we can really do three stretches in one with that. So if you're ever wondering, why are we doing this again? That is why. Three, two, one. All right, last two movements coming up. Plank, knee to opposite elbow. We're getting ready. Mentally prepare for this. Three, two, one. I really don't know what it is about coming to the opposite side because yesterday, doing the same side, did not need to take as many breaks, but doing the opposite side one, I kind of take a little... See, I'm even doing it right now. I gotta take a few second breaks here, give my arms and my core a rest. Which I don't know about y'all, but I am for sure feeling it from our V holds yesterday. My core is like, what did you do? That's how much I work core outside of classes, but definitely need to be better about that. I'm starting now, not till the new year. Three, two, one. All right, last movement here, y'all. We got our supermans. We're on our stomachs. We're getting ready. Three, two, one. All right, squeeze the glutes coming up and back. Sorry, I don't want to say squeeze our glutes. We want to drive our heels towards the ceiling. When we think about that, that's what's going to help us feel the movement where we need to. down we got this it's our last movement working on our glute strength working on our back strength great job it's actually a nice one to end on and plotches we're doing burpees just kidding we're not doing that three two one and that is it for today's circuit so go ahead Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna do pretzel. So we're gonna stay on the ground. My camera real quick. So we're on the ground, we're gonna be on our side. You can choose whichever side you like. And once you're on your side, our checklist here, we're gonna take our top leg. We're coming up over and across our body. There are all my pops. Knee and ankle stay on the ground. Bottom hand goes on top of our knee. Top hand grabs out to bottom for our ankle. We're gonna inhale to prepare. 
And we're gonna exhale, bringing our top shoulder towards the ground. We're gonna do a few breaths here. We're gonna inhale in through our nose, exhaling through our mouth, sighing away our tension here. Really let your body sink further towards the ground with each exhale. Just really let your body calm down here. Let your body release all your tension you have pent up today. We're gonna do one more breath. And as we exhale, we can gently release our bottom leg. And when we're ready, we can go ahead and flip over onto our other side. And we're gonna do our same checklist here. Our top leg comes up over and across our body. Knee and ankle stay on the ground. Top hand is gonna grab onto our bottom leg. I forgot to say bottom leg on top of our bottom, our top. Gosh, y'all know, we got it. And we're gonna inhale to prepare, and we're gonna exhale, bringing our top shoulder towards the ground. Breathing in through our nose, sighing away our tension. If we really aim to make our exhales longer than our inhales, gonna help our body tap into our parasympathetic nervous system. It's actually really important for us to do that multiple times a day. We all kind of lived in this stressed out phase of life, going to, from thing to thing to thing, looking at screens all day. We have constant simulation. So take this time, close your eyes, connect with your body. Let your body fully relax here. We're gonna do one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, we can gently release that leg. And when we're ready, we can gently return to a seated kneeling or standing position. That is gonna be all the time I have for y'all today. So um, thank y'all for joining me. You know, we got our, our last leaf workout of the week, so we got leaves. So we're going to have a different theme next week. So if you have any suggestions or requests, let me know. Um, but great job. Thank you all for coming, and I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow.